In this video, we will use the create slice function. Let's see what it is. It is a function that accepts an initial state, an object full of reducer function and slice name. And it automatically generates action creators and action types that correspond to the producer and state. Internally, it uses create action and create reducer. As you can see here, this function takes a name for the slice you are creating like a counter slice or a login slice and initial state. We don't have to pass reducers here, instead we just have to create a logic to update the state. We can export actions and reducers just like shown here using a counter slice dot actions and counter slice dot reducer. So let's create a new file for a slices. First copy all the initial states. Let's create our slice. Make sure to import the create slice function. For the name, I am writing a counter, then initial state. and reducers. Just copy all this logic and paste it here. Remove the square brackets. Now we don't have to write actions separately. The slice function will take care to separate actions. Let's do the same for login. Export all the actions and reducers from the slices. I have changed the name of the reducers. Change the import of these actions from action file to slices file. In here, call the reducers from the slices file. As you can see here, everything is working. As you can see in this extension, you can see from which slices these actions are coming like a counter slash increment comes from the counter slice so this also helps us in debugging a large applications make sure to like this video and subscribe share this tutorial series with your friends who want to learn redux thank you so much for watching this till the end and keep coding